Good morning, friends. It is Monday, October 11th, and it is the beginning of week six of preparing for an orchestral audition. At this point, I have five weeks left to go, and that sounds like a long time, but when you think about it, it's only five more Mondays, and like today is one of them, so only four more Mondays, and it's just like up until this point, like I'm like I'm definitely proud of myself for like sticking with it and continuing to practice because um, that's honestly been something that has not been like I don't know it, it's it would been gone by the wayside for a bit um, because I was just teaching and coming up with new programs and things like that so it's it definitely feels really good to focus on my own playing again and see the little improvements so I'm very happy with that. However, at this point, I just feel like I'm not doing enough. I feel like I'm not practicing enough. I don't. I feel like I'm not practicing seriously enough. So that's something that I want to um, focus in on this week. I want to include more like visualizations of me of me playing and performing the audition well. I saw somewhere, maybe it was on TikTok. I don't know that the brain cannot tell between like real and fake so if you visualize yourself doing well the brain thinks that's real if that makes sense so that's something that i want to incorporate in my practice this week so i'm about to start practicing right now what i think i'm gonna do is practice for a bit and then perform it and then visualize myself performing it if that makes sense i want to listen to the recordings more carefully i just want to like be better and do better if that makes sense um i did not practice yesterday <laughs> sunday is like my one day off from teaching and yeah sometimes you just need a little mental break um but um yeah that's my plan for today and that's how i'm feeling at this point <laughs> Before I played that, I visualized myself playing the Tchaikovsky that, that um, like, and playing it well. And a couple of things I noticed. First of all, 
there were some parts that I just like skipped over, if that makes sense. I'm like, mm, and like da 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 da. I just like skipped over that and like went into the the double stops afterwards, which is really weird to me. Um, I felt like I don't know. I feel like it sounds pretty good, but pretty good isn't gonna cut it. You know what I'm saying? I think I think obviously the opening can be better. It can be cleaner. I think intonation's pretty good uh, for the most part, but I feel just like my fingers aren't as strong, I guess, as they used to be. Like I practiced just now for probably like 40 minutes, um, and my hand feels like tired, which. <laughs> Um, I don't know. So that's what I did for that. Um, I feel pretty good about the practice so far. So let's just keep it going. Hey guys, now much later. It's about four o'clock and um, I'm feeling good about my practice today. I think, honestly, I'm feeling good about the excerpts. I did practice more today. So I probably practiced for like, I don't even know, two and a half hours maybe but I felt like I got some really good practice in and some really good work done so I'm definitely feeling really good about that um it's Monday and I feel like I don't know if you guys are the same way like I'm always not always but generally the most like energetic on Monday I'm like yeah let's get everything done and as the week goes I'm like getting less and less so I hope this just continues throughout the week um I think that it will but um, yeah, feeling good. I didn't record anything else because I don't want this. The last video was like 30 minutes long, so I don't know if I want this video to be that long. Um, but yeah, end of day one of this week and feeling good. Hello friends, happy Tuesday. It's now Tuesday, October 12th and um, it's a new day. Time for some more practice. So I'm gonna practice check again. Um, I'm just not feeling very comfortable, especially like with the runs yet. Like I feel fine like when I'm playing it by myself, but I feel like if I were to get in an, an audition situation, um, I wouldn't be fine. <laughs> I did I I'm not sure if I mentioned this last um, or yesterday, but I think that I just need to like get nervous. I think I just need to perform. I think I just need to like maybe play for my boyfriend. I mentioned I think that I'm gonna go maybe live, um, which is very scary, but it's, it's better to do it then and you know be prepared than to do it at the audition. So let's do it. All right, so in that like really fast passage, you guys know what I'm talking about, I feel like a lot more in control today and I definitely do think it's like I just have another day of practice under my belt, yes, like, you know, but I also want to share with you what I did. So I basically practice it in rhythm. So this is what I did. So first I started out in pairs. helps 
um, a lot of different things, right? It helps you um, pray faster. But I think what really noticed for me was my fingers just feel stronger, more articulate, I guess. And what I'm really trying to do is like I anticipate each group. So like after I play, um, I'm anticipating the one one shit, then the two three, and just really trying to always have my mind be ahead of my fingers. In this video, I'm going to practice just basically starting the piece. It's always the hardest part, right? <laughs>
Wednesday, October 13th. Um, I'm sorry if you can hear that noise in the background. My neighbor is mowing their lawn. Honestly, it is really loud around my neighborhood. Oh, they just stopped. Okay, good. Um, there's always like super loud cars driving by, but anyway, that's besides the point. Yesterday, I was um, chatting with one of my students. Um, shout out to you, Deeksha. And, you know, she mentioned she's really enjoying the videos, which I am so happy about. And she was basically saying like, oh, like, I'm sure you're going to get it. Like, you sound so good, blah, blah, blah. And first up, I'm, I, I'm not so sure that I'm going to get it. I think I mentioned this in a previous video. Like, I, I haven't convinced myself that I'm going to get it. Honestly, I've probably convinced myself that I'm not going to get it. Um, I, if you're not a, like, a professional musician, I guess, you might not understand just how difficult it is to get an orchestra spot. Like, the orchestra that I'm trying out for isn't even like a major orchestra. It's not like Chicago Symphony or New Yorkville or anything like that. It's like a, a regional orchestra that's still professional, so you still get paid and stuff. But I know that it's going to be extremely competitive. Um, and also the added thing is like, yeah, sure, it might sound good in the practice room, but you're not being judged on what, what you can do in the practice room, right? You're being judged on that like literally like five minutes. And if you mess up, then you're not going to get it, which is um, definitely um, a scary thought. So that's one of the reasons like why I want to work more on like my performance and dealing with the, the performance anxiety. Um, definitely the worst part of taking auditions and playing an instrument in general, in my opinion. But um, yeah, so she mentioned that. And I also um, was actually looking at one of my friend's Instagrams. And um, they have basically taken a class with this guy, Rob Knopper, I think that's how you say his name. Um, if you're unfamiliar, he's a timpanist, percussionist in um, the Met. And he runs like kind of, um, I guess, an audition boot camp, I guess, for professional musicians. And so this person had taken it and like was sharing the notes. and. The notes were honestly scary. They were saying like you need to be doing mock auditions every day for like 30 days before. Um, you need to be like, I don't know, I don't, I forgot what was on that. But then one of them was also like you are not just competing for a spot, you're competing for like $5 million or something like that, which is obviously like the salary and maybe more like, you know, professional esteemed orchestras. But that was honestly very scary. and. I'm not doing this because like I need the money or like um, anything like that. My main reason for doing this honestly is just to have a goal to work towards and I thought it would be fun for you guys to see like the um, you know like the behind the scenes um, and you know if I get it of course I'm going to be super excited but if I don't it's, it's not the end of the world and I'm not going to be like embarrassed or anything um, because, you know, it is what it is and that's reality. You're not always going to win. I know that like <laughs> um, a lot of professional musicians like have to take hundreds, literally hundreds of auditions before they will win a spot. And this is only my second one. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of share those thoughts. I'm going to practice some Mozart because um, I haven't practiced that this week and just to give me a little, like, variation from the chike. Um, but, yeah, that was my little chat for the day.
Exhale. This is probably the exhale I feel worse about. because I'm thinking oh it's fast like then I play it and I feel totally out of control because I'm playing it even a little bit too fast so I'm gonna try it again and I'm going to think that it's slow this is the slowest excerpt in the world 152 eh. not a deal <laughs> It is Thursday, October 14th, and it's like 4.45 p.m. right now. I know I haven't checked in, but I honestly have not even had time to practice today. Um, I did my warm-up this morning as usual, but i pretty much been teaching straight since then. Obviously, I'm at work now, and I did get to practice just now for like 45 minutes. And um, I'm going to put a clip up of what I practice here next. So what you're basically going to see me doing is trying to have like kind of a mock audition with myself. So I'm walking in, I'm putting my music on the stand because that's what you would do in the audition and then like practicing starting the check. Um Also notice here like the acoustics are way, way, way different. Um, so you might know that I have taken one other professional orchestra audition before and um, basically what they do like I'll run you through the process a little bit so they post the audition on their website or on other um, audition websites um, you basically send in your resume and then you send in a check and then when you get there and you check in um, they give you your check back unless you're no show then they take your money but they give you your check back which is really nice you check in they give you a warm-up room and they give you like a time frame then you walk into the room, the audition is blind, and they will also have a carpet that leads up to the stand. And the reason behind that is because they don't want to discriminate between men and women. So if women have on high heels, you can clearly hear that on the floor. So that's why they have the carpet there. And then you walk up and then they usually ask you to start with the concerto, which is what I just played right now. So that's what I was practicing doing. I actually did get a little nervous, which is good. Um, honestly, I'm feeling pretty good like pretty good with my skills pretty bad 
mentally. Like I mentioned to you guys, like I just feel like, you know, there's just a part of me that thinks like I'm just not going to get it. You know, like why even try? And I'm really trying to reframe that mindset. Like when I was doing that just now, I walked up and literally said to myself, I'm going to win this audition. I'm going to win this audition. <laughs> and so I'm really working on changing that mentally. But yeah, let's get into it. Um, let's listen to the chike. Um, I'm interested to see how it sounds compared in this really dry room compared to my really boomy room at home.
now Friday. I don't even know what day it is. I think it's the 15th. I am so tired today. I worked until 7.30 last night and then I, we went grocery shopping and then we didn't get back home until 9. And like, I don't know about you guys, but like after work and stuff like that, I was just felt like wound up, I guess. And I didn't go to sleep till like 11. I usually go to sleep at like 9.30. So I'm really tired today, but I'm trying not to let that affect me too much. Um, trying not to think about it, just trying to do my things. So today I think I'm going to practice all of my excerpts. I think I'm feeling pretty good on the Chike and the Mozart, but not as good on the excerpts. So I'm going to practice them all. And then I'm thinking I might record them. Oh, I don't know if I'll post it in here because the video is already like 30 minutes long, but we'll see. So I haven't listened to it yet, but I think I am going to record the, not record, include the recording of all of the excerpts that literally just played it. Um, they obviously all still need work. Um, and I think it was good because I got a sense of, um, you know, my trouble spots, obviously, but also like when I saw the excerpt come up, I had a feeling and I was like, okay, <laughs> you know, so, um, I think I definitely need to practice Don Juan more. I've just been finding every time that I've been practicing Don Juan, I get very mm, over it very easily. It's probably the excerpt that I practice the most and one that still doesn't sound very good. So there's that. Um, but it is what it is. I think I definitely, I definitely need to practice Don Juan more. The Brahms and the Beethoven kind of surprised me. They were pretty good. There was a little rhythm thing in the Brahms, but most are super easy. I think the three that I, I know, and I knew this is going to be like the big three, like the, the Don Juan, the Mendelssohn, and the Prokofiev. I actually thought the Prokofiev was okay. Um, but the second movement, it was just really out of tune. I was just like, oh, it's over it. And I started it too fast, but... Anyway, I am just like not feeling it today at all, but you still gotta get it done, you know? It's Friday, maybe that's why. <laughs> um, but yeah, even I have days, off days, off days, days when I don't wanna do it. I think that's normal for everybody, but we keep pushing through. So if you wanna listen to the next excerpts, here they are. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is run through all of my excerpts. I put them in a random order. I like shuffled my papers while closing my eyes. So I have no idea what order is coming. All I know is the first one, it, which is the Brahms. There are seven total, by the way.
Next is done one. Yeah. Uh. 